Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Okami HD on the PlayStation Network. Uh, last time, we visited Queen Hamiko in her very well-guarded castle, and she told us that she could divine the location of the Oni Island where the monsters are appearing, and where the Dark Lord apparently waits, and we gotta go uh, use the Water Dragon in order to get over there. But because he's not too happy with us, then we have to like go to the Dragonian Empire underwater or something like that and use them to calm the beast so we can use him to, you know, get on with the game. Um, we also entered north northern Ryoshima coast and saw Waka who decided to accuse Isun of being a thief by stealing paintings, but we have no evidence of that, so I'm gonna let that slide. But anyways, um, as you can see right here, I got a lot of fish with me right now. Uh, basically what I did was I went ahead and um, went to the fishermen here in Cyan City just to pass some time and get all the fishies here. And I've completed my fish tome for what we have currently. And you should have all these, you sh uh, if you're if you're have, if you're going for all the fish that you can possibly get right now, before we enter Ryoshima Coast, you should have this first full page filled up, and then these six right here. So let's go over the new one, shall we? Uh, let's see the black bass. I think he's a uh, nighttime only. I think. Uh, let's see. Freshwater eel. This guy, uh, a lot of places say he's daytime only, but I've only found him in the nighttime. Maybe he changes from file to file? I don't know. I just know that every time I tried during the daytime, it didn't happen, and then I finally found his evil looking self with those evil red eyes at nighttime, so I'm assuming he's nighttime only, and that's what I'm going to put in the video description from last episode, not this one, since that's the episode where you started it. Uh, let's see, then we got Koi. Or Kwai, or I think I think they're pronounced Koi. I like how they're supposed to be like little garden fish, and we're fishing them up and eat, selling them for money. These guys sell for a lot of money, by the way, especially if you sell them here in Cyan City. Sturgeon, this guy, he's a big little bastard, isn't he? He's got a kind of dorky-looking nose, but he's gonna sell for moolah. And we got the giant catfish, who took me forever to find because he's only at nighttime, and as far as I can tell, he only appears. Um, he only appears after you've been fishing for like 15 rounds or so. So yeah, he was a pain just to uh, just to get this guy to show up. I kept on finding um, I kept on finding hoochins when I was looking for him. So yeah, um, I think uh, I think a couple of the other new fish in here were I think smelt was new. I think uh, I think the loach was new. Freshwater eel, he was new. Um, yeah, I think I think the smelt and the and the loach were also new to this. But uh, anyways, we had a lot of fish, and it's probably it's probably not a bad idea to fish before we head to Rayoshima Coast, because I forgot to mention that um, several of those brush upgrades we're gonna get. And by the way, there's uh, four brush techniques in there: three upgrades and one uh, new power. Not three, like I said before. But yeah, there's a lot of Two of those are going to cost a nice fat chunk of change, so do some fishing, get some money, however you want to do it. Anyways, as you can see, we're still in the aristocratic quarter here. Um, the reason why is because remember how I was looking for those last couple trees? I figured out where they were, and I feel like an idiot now. I totally forgot, since I had seen these before. There's trees in the fucking houses, and I totally forgot about these bastards. I mean, I remember seeing them when I came here and talked to these guys earlier. I just, you know, kind of forgot they existed here in the trees. So, or the houses. So yeah, there's two in that house. And then there's two in... Uh, let's see, this house over here. Oh, by the way, um... That house on the... On the west side of the screen right there. There's actually a couple treasures in there. It's the guard station, apparently not a house. Uh, there's a bullhorn and I think a pearl. Nothing too great, but they're there if you want them. So, if you want to go grab those, feel free. I already, I already did. Uh, let's see, we need to go to you. Ah, here we are. Yeah, here's the last couple trees. And yeah, I know I, I know I hadn't got them all because I, 
I was almost positive I hadn't seen the extra preys show up, but here they are. They were just hiding out nice and nice like. Alright, I get it. I got an apple and peaches, so go away. I want to see the extra praise. There we go. 11 praise. So an extra 10 praise for blooming all the trees. Very nice. But anyways, now that we're done here, we're going to head on back to northern Ryoshima coast. But first, we're going to stop off at the merchant and sell our fishies. Remember, sell them to the uh, item dealer, not the not the weapon dealer, because the weapon merchant, he won't give you extra money for them. So it's in your best interest to sell them to the item dude. Luckily, the entrance to northern Ryoshima coast is pretty much right outside the city, so we're not wasting too much time here. And you remember how we just finished getting getting done doing all these side quests here in Cyan City? Guess what? There's more side quests and stuff to do in northern Ryoshima coast, so that's what we're going to be doing. It's not anywhere near as much, but there's still a couple to get through. Most of them, most of them involve brush powers. <laughs> Actually, I haven't sent to get you broke by selling you all my treasures. Okay, 502,000 right now. Let's, let's see. Okay, 500, let's say 520,000. And after selling all my fishies, because I have a lot of these bastards. Ooh, look at that. 900, 9,000 just from the crawfish. Nice, 26,000 for those little bastards. So yeah, as you can see, fishing and selling here is pretty damn good money. I'm already 100,000 up from when I started, so that's not too shabby to start with. Okay, I started out with 520,000 ish, or 518,000, and 779,000, so let's see, that's 251,000 yen just from those little fish bastards. That's a nice little chunk of change right there. So if you're broke, go spend an hour or so fishing and just rack up the dough from those guys. By the way, I want to see if this guy. I don't think I don't think they have anything new. I know he's gonna have something new later, but. Yeah, I didn't think he had anything new. I just wanted to make sure. Eh, we don't need anything from you, though, buddy. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. Anyways, off to Ryoshima Coast. Northern Ryoshima Coast. Gonna open it up there, Bell, pal. No. How come you, how come you can't just leave it open? That's kind of idiotic that they have to constantly. Actually, no, that's actually pretty good, actually, because a lot of places they just leave the gate open and it makes it seem like anybody can go through. So, I like the way these guys think. Actually, they may be mildly annoying, but hey, I like the way they roll. All right, I'm gonna turn it into the night time so that way we can find all the treasures that we need. All right, let's see if you have any new enemies for me. I think you're just gonna have the same. Uh... Okay, we've already. Oh, okay. Here's a new enemy right here. This guy right here. This guy is. Let's see, what is your name, buddy? Uh, you are the the Halo Guardian. Uh, that's the guy flying around in the air. He's basically like the uh, flying imp. Just uh, power slash or gale him to the ground and then knock his ass out. Unfortunately, his 4 finisher is Cherry Bomb, so it can be a pain in the ass to get him to, you know, die with the finisher. But 
yeah. These guys, since since their finishers are cherry bombs, it's usually not worth trying to time the cherry bomb right. So just kill them and just get your money and you're good to go. Anyways. Hey, look, there's a bridge right here. wonder if we can fill it in with rejuvenation. No? That's weird. Usually you can fill bridges and stuff in with rejuvenation. Oh well, not this time I guess. Oh, why not? I thought we had the power to restore, like, everything. Oh well. Anyways, we got a stray bead. I think this is number, uh, 60-ish. Something. You blue and damn clover. Hi, right, kitty cats. Why is why is this one all black? Is that just the uh Is that just the way he's laying on the ground? I think it might be. Oh wait, wait is that a hole in the ground that I just dug? Oh. No. It's a black cat, that's funny. I thought all the cats in this I thought all the cats in the game were calicos. Well, I learned something new every day. I could have swore that all the cats in the game had a uh, calico palettes, but that's apparently not the case. Huh. I would have put money on the fact that all the cats were calicos because that's what I remember them all being. Oh well. And let's see if we can't super jump our way across the, uh, the gap here. Yeah, that's the stuff. Alright, you gonna have you gonna have another new enemy for me, pal? He does. This is the um let's see was this the Bell Guardian? No, Executioner Guardian. Uh they're basically the uh black imps of the uh of these uh guardian dudes. So same same bullshit as the black imps, uh slash them and slash their skulls until their skulls are no more and then kill them. And again, with the uh cherry bomb for their coral finisher, so try, but yeah, see, you're probably going to end up hitting him too much. Okay, there we go. Let's try this. No? Yeah, it's just not worth it. We tried. See any more new enemies from you guys? Ah, just these guys. By the way, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned their Floral Finisher since we've got it now. Uh, their Floral Finisher is actually a uh, Veil of Mist. Uh, unlike unlike the um, the Earth Mirror and, or the uh, or the Wind Doom Mirror or whatever, you can't just have a Veil of Mist up when you're killing them and have it activate. You actually have to draw it when they die. So you actually have to pay attention for that. Okay, what else we got? What else do we got? Um, I'm not sure if there's any more new enemies around here, but we can go for a couple more battles. Well, just you guys. Actually, uh, hang on. Hang on. I want to see if uh, my fire tablet is actually going to protect me from... from, uh, whatchamacallit. Let's see, uh, ice lips, I'm going to die. There we go. Alright. Go go fire it up and see if you can't kill me with your fire. Because I want to see. See, it's still doing... Wait, did that actually do damage or no? I can't tell if it did. Oh, it didn't do damage. Okay, so it just looks like it does damage. Here, come here. How about you actually attack me with your fire stuff? No? Come on. Oh, 
Okay, so it actually does protect you from fire enemies. Okay, it just looks like you're taking damage. Okay. Okay, like I said, the game will probably prove me a liar on screen, but I guess that actually works. So, if you ever fight a tough fire enemy, then bust out your fire tablet, I guess. But I'm still gonna have my uh, lucky bell on for the time being. So, okay, I just thought it was giving damage because it gave the damage animation. Okay. That... Uh, what is your floral finisher? Your wind? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so, like I said, I was wrong. I admit it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's see, where are we anyways? Um, oh, we're over here. To Island Cherry. Okay. That's a weird name, but okay. Let's see. I don't think there's too many new, too many more new enemies around here. I think those are most of them, actually. Uh, let's see. I know there's a few buried treasures around here, but just gotta find the little bastards. Uh, first, before we do anything else, though, um, go to the save mirror. Draw your, draw your X, and we have to go to. We're on, okay. We're on northern Ryoshima coast right now. However, um, see this save mirror, save mirror right here? Northern Ryoshima Coast Rocky Area? Uh, this area can only be reached if you have the Fog Pot and therefore the Mist Warp Technique. You cannot get to this any other way. And of course, yes, there's going to be a Stray Beat up here, so... You want to... You want the, um... 100%? Then you're going to want to buy the Mist Warp. There's a couple areas like that. There's a... There's at least one more that I can think of. Oh, dude, I just fucking turned you back to daytime, didn't I? No? I was hoping if I uh, got on the mirror fast enough that would cancel the animation, but I guess not. Uh, let's see, I know there is a treasure. Oh, there it is. I knew there was a treasure buried around here somewhere. I just wasn't sure where. There we go. You know what? Let's check out over here real quick. Just to see what this house is over here. And this buried treasure in the foxes, of course. <laughs> Yay, more crystal. We got a lot of that stuff, don't we? I wish crystals and like sellable junk like this was this easy to find in real life. I mean, if I could just walk around, dig a hole, and find uh, treasures, I'd be rich. But uh, unfortunately, real life doesn't seem to work that way. Or if it does, then I haven't figured out the right areas to dig. I could have swore there were cats around here. Um, I guess not. They might be here during the day, actually. Ooh, seafood. Yeah, let's check out during daytime, because I'm. Sure, there's cats around here somewhere. No, no kitty cats. Yeah, we'll find them eventually. Screw it. Oh, there they are. Come here, little bastards. Okay, I seriously thought that all the cats in this game were calicos, but. I guess not. See, look, he's a calico right here, but in his little non-cutscene, he's black. Look, he is he is 100% black and not calico. So I don't know why the cutscene are showing these guys as 
as a uh, black. Good kitty cats. Hey, it's another restaurant. I just sold a bunch of fish to a uh, to Cyan City. Mr. Umi's fresh fish dishes. I like fish every once in a while, but it's not a something I eat every day. You hope, you hope I'll try to get one of what? Oh, cheer him up. Sure, no problem. Is he back here? Hi, buddy. Yeah, I guess you do kind of need ingredients. And look, it's a kitty cat. Much like the kitty cats outside. And that's an awesome nickname. Cyclone Chef Umi. Um, if by bend you mean like talk, sure. Don't you look at me like that. <laughs> It'd be too much effort getting all that fur off you. Apparently. Yeah, there's more fishers stuff in this area, so we're probably not gonna get to that. Eh, we might do it this episode. We might. I don't know. But yeah, there's more fisher, fisherman stuff to do in this episode. So another fishing area. We may or may not get to it this episode. We might end up doing it next episode. I'm not sure. I already talked to him. He didn't seem to care too much about anything except for the fisherman that. It's not catching his fish for him. Okay, we're done with this area for right now. Uh, let's see, is there any more? No. Dude. There we go. Plenty of demon things. Like I said, you're going to want to have a hundred uh, pretty soon here. Since there's going to be a very good item that you can buy from the Emperor after the next major storyline segment. Okay, enough dicking around on this side of the bridge. Let's go into the water and get some treasure chests. Or we could just play with the water. Yeah, I'm here. Yay, mermaid coins. These are not going to be useful for too much longer. Glass beads. Not quite the type of beads I'm looking for. You know, I have a specific variety in mind that I like. No, not those kind of beads. I'm talking about stray beads, viewers. Not the, uh, not the adult beads. The first time I saw that bear statue, I thought it was a beaver. I don't know why, just, that's what I thought the first time I saw it. I still think it kind of looks like a beaver. I think it's something to do with the way the fish is in the mouth. Alright, exorcism slip M. These are always going to be useful for our warrior ways. Hey, there's a waterfall. Is there anything behind that waterfall? No? This, I think this is one of the first times where there's a waterfall and nothing behind it. Usually there's some crap behind a waterfall, but not today. Makes me sad, actually. But I do see a clover. There we go. Hey, little bud, you got anything? Got anything good? What would sell like hotcakes? A donut in the shape of Oni Island, the Doni Nut. Yeah, that might be popular. You can try it. 
Uh, okay, yeah, I was about to say, how is it, how do you keep on seeing it if it's supposed to show up in someplace new every day? Sure, what do you got, pal? Got anything useful? Oh, the Marlin Rod. Uh, yeah, if you don't have the Marlin Rod now, you're gonna need it eventually for the fishing side quest in this area, so feel free to buy one. Uh, let's see. Top off our seeds. Our herbs are fine. Top off our meats. And you're gonna want to make sure to have a, a fair amount of uh, fish seed bags. Uh, 20 should be good, but I'm gonna go 25 just to make sure, because just a warning, there's a lot of kitty cats we gotta feed, like, coming up, like, really soon. So, let's see. Alright, nothing else you have for me, bud? No? Alright. You tried to be useful. You failed, but you tried. Alright, let's find some more crap to... dig up and sell. Like this right here. Hunk of coral said to have been brought from the Dragon Palace, which, by the way, is where we're going next. Okay, I'm gonna ignore the guy getting his butt beat by a bunch of little kids over there for the time being. We'll come back to him in a little bit. The invulnerability slip, as they should be called, since that's what they do. There are a lot of bull horns just like lying around. I wonder if any of the bulls in Nippon have any horns left, since I seem to be selling them all. Just so you know, in both this area and the previous area, uh, previous Ryoshima area, there are plenty of these um, shell chests in the sea, and you probably could get to them with your with your uh, lily pad and a whole bunch of wind, but we're gonna have a much easier time of getting to it later, so that's why I'm pretty much ignoring it for right now. And don't you worry, Chubby, I'll come back to you in a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean whenever I feel like it. Let's see, here's a puppy. All these dogs are always by themselves. Or if they are, they're spread out. Were you with me? Oh, I think, he, I think he did have a friend with him. Did you? Oh yeah, see, they're all they're all together, but they're all spread out, too. They're. I don't know why they can't just stay together. Oh well. Enough worried about poochies. Um, we'll, we'll check out that house a little bit later. But for right now, let's go up here. And look, it's Yoichi. Or... Yoichi, or however you pronounce that guy's name, I, I forget. And these guys appear to have little horns at least, so I guess there's still a few more bullhorns to find. Guys, you mind if I borrow your heads for a few minutes? No? That's not cool with you? Oh well. And another stray bead. Got a lot of these this episode. Jeez, that's a funky jump. I scared the crap out of him, almost literally. Okay, and this water... Well, you can't see it right now in the daytime, or the nighttime, so let's turn it into daytime and check it out. This water looks like somebody took a giant leak in it. Why? Yeah, it... I have no idea. But anyways, let's talk to Yoichi real quick. Hey, you doing, buddy? Hey, it's the apple guy. Ah, so you want to practice with your bow skills, huh? Sure, why not? Thanks, pal. Appreciate it. Um, you can... There is a limit on how long you can do this. Um, I'm not sure how long that limit is. 
and I missed it the last time I played the game, so that's why I'm getting out of the way right now. Um, because he's eventually going to leave, and you can't get the praise for doing what you're going to do with him right now at any, any other time. So, just go ahead and get out of the way now. It's nothing hard. It's pretty much the exact same thing as the last time you saw him, so talk to him. So, a really hard fruit. It looks like it's made out of stone. Uh, yeah, that's what he says. Okay, never mind. This guy must have, like, an endless supply of apples, but ignoring that, take the water from the spring and put it on his arrow. And that's how you get this little portion of the side quest done. Ooh, that's a fat little bastard. Um, usually if they're possessed, they're probably would have, like, killed the fruit, not made it ripen and be good for eating. Where are you running off to this time? He's always running off somewhere, isn't he? And as he leaves, he drops about eight apples. Why? I don't know. Does anyone know wolves are carnivores and not herbivores or omnivores? I mean, most wolves I know probably wouldn't... Well, I don't know any wolves, but I'm assuming most wolves would prefer, like, a hunk of meat to apples. But that's just my personal opinion on the matter. Ah, well. Ignoring his logic of apple a day keeps the wolf happy and not eating him. Let's continue exploring the Shinshu, or the Ryoshima Coast area. And look, another area for us to dig in. Yay. Lots of praise. These things always have a lot of praise because there's usually animals and clovers and trees and a whole bunch of good stuff. I love these holes. I think their official name is something like a Nirvana Holes or something like that. But I'm not sure. A lot of bunnies. Okay, how much praise are we gonna get for these guys? Thirty praise, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Very nice. Sorry, bunny. I wasn't trying to attack you. I was trying to attack the uh, the dash. One more. Okay, how about you guys just like stay in one spot instead of trying to follow me around everywhere? See, I wonder just how small you can make the circle in blueness. Oh, that's small, I guess. And you know what? I think we have enough to upgrade our health again, so might as well. And let's see what's in here. A boar statue. That's another one of the zodiac treasures. And it appears to be hungry. Does it appear to be about to set itself on fire? No. And another stray bead. Like I said, we're going to get a lot of these this episode. And another golden peach that I'm probably not going to use and unless I buy another uh, astral pouch and just want to fill it up quick. Actually, I don't think we are going to get to fishing today. We might have to do that next episode. Oh well. It happens. Okay, ooh, another demon gate. Very nice. These things are always good for some kind of praise. Ooh, but you know what? Screw the demon gate. Let's go for the treasure. And again with the bullhorns. There's a lot of these fuckers out here. Why? I don't know. But anyways, um, back to the demon gate. You know what? Since their weak, since their uh, floral finisher is cherry bomb, I wonder how much damage cherry bomb actually does to these guys. Eh, not too much, but enough, I guess. Oh, 
why I'm trying to draw two. Yeah, I'm never gonna get the four finish with these, these fuckers, so I'm just not even gonna try anymore. Screw it. Well, except for now. By the way, if you don't destroy his, um, these guys' skulls and stuff, uh, before, uh, they, before, um, if you don't destroy the skulls, they'll do something like fire a laser or, uh, home in on you and try to attack you that way before, uh, before you can damage them. So if you don't want to attack the skulls for whatever reason, just make it a long battle and wait for them to, uh, throw the skulls at you or come flying at you or whatever it is they do. And do we even get any praise for that? No, we get bunnies though, so that helps. How you doing, kid? Cat call tower? Huh, that's a... Uh... Odd legend, but okay. Okay, so it tr turned into a god, and then it sat up there for so long it turns into a statue. It's the oddest story I've ever heard, but if that's what you want to believe, kid, then I'm not I'm not going to be one to uh, burst your little happy bubble. But anyways. Enough uh, humoring the kid, let's go over here and go to our, the fruits of our labors. we get out of this thing? A whole bunch of praise. Yay. What's my god hit at right now anyways? Obviously not complete, otherwise I wouldn't have to use these. Okay, now it's complete. I think that's most of the treasures we can get right now. Uh, we can... Yeah, actually, yeah, I think that's most of everything we can get right now. So, let's go talk to that kid that was getting bullied over here. Amy kind of swims like a dolphin when she's trying to go fast. It's a really weird way to swim, but it's effective, I guess. I don't think we ever checked this house out, did we? See, pigs? I think you guys eat anything, right? No? Oh, never mind. You guys eat seeds. I was thinking of, uh... I was thinking of monkeys that eat anything. Why I got a monkey and a pig confused? I don't know. By the way, how old were you... How old were you guys when you found out that, uh... Monkeys were carnivorous and... Or, or not carnivorous, but, uh... Omnivorous and would eat anything, including... Monkey, uh, monkey babies from their own like little tribes. I think I was like 12 when I saw like a documentary there where a monkey just snatched up a baby monkey from someone else and just ate it. I think it was a baboon that did that. Really bastard animals, I guess. Mrs. Urashima. 
I came by to say hi to the ladies, obviously. Hiroshima is always out fishing on his own. He must be lonely without any friends. Oh, poor guy. Yeah, it's a, a fish, so whatever. Okay, I don't think there's anything else in here right now, so I'm just going to ignore that. But anyways, let's go to this kid over here. And these little kids are brutal. Who's Porka? Hey, that sounds like someplace we want to go. These kids are little bastards. Oh, it's Orca, like a killer whale. Gotcha. He's an emissary of the Dragon Palace, and he only comes for people worthy of going there. Okay, you can go. You guys can quit picking on the fat kid now. Anyways, let's talk to the cat, the fat guy. You're gonna wake up, kid. Yeah, the usual. Tackle his ass. Um, okay, he's... He's got a barrel and a bunch of fish in the barrel. Why? I don't know. Uh... If you dozed off, you were doing a damn good job talking in your sleep to those kids. Fisherman Urashima. No, this is not the fisherman we fish with, just so you know. Um, okay, your name is Urashima, and Mrs. Urashima is like about five feet that away, so you really can't make it that far home. Isn't your mom gonna be worried about you sleeping out here? Uh, I wouldn't say fit as a fiddle. There's a land under the sea here in Ryoshima. The Dragonians and the Sea God live there in the Dragon Palace. The Dragon Palace, real amazing. Real purdy. Yeah, that's kind of where we gotta go. He's not chubby, he's just pleasantly plump. Yeah, you must be a really good swimmer. Oh yeah, he wasn't trying to eat everybody, I guess. An emissary called Orca comes to get you. Yeah, I was there a few minutes ago, actually. He comes with the morning sun. Orca only comes if you're worthy of the Dragon Palace. Okay, so... What you gotta do, pretty much, is just go to the pier and wait till uh, daytime, or make it daytime, and Mr. Orca will show up and take you to... Well, well he'll take you places, I guess. No, not. No, I'm doing everything but the sunrise here. There we go. Hey, it's a giant salmon. Fish always have like one look. They either look like happy, like killer whales tend to look, or they look like stupid, like fish you eat tend to look. And for some reason, Amy's really happy to see this guy. Hey, it's Hiroshima. Hey, 
Looks like he gets to go back. Well, good for him. Climb on in, buddy. <laughs> or not. <laughs> well, that didn't work out so well. So much for him being worthy. I guess he's supposed to be a giant uh, dolphin. I always thought Orca meant killer whale, but then again, killer whales are uh, the largest species of dolphin, so it makes sense, I guess. So you're gonna get me there nice and fast then? Oh, so we don't gotta worry about the water dragon. Very nice. Good jump, buddy. Good jump. Okay, yeah, so let's jump into Orca's back here. Yeah. Not a lot of names are creative, they're functional, but... Doesn't look that fishy. Well, maybe he does. Wait, what do you mean? I thought that was your job was to take me to the Dragon Palace. And what is this? Only then will I be worthy of visiting the Dragon Palace. Okay, so what do I gotta do? The entrance to the Dragon Palace is a whirlpool, but it's hidden right now to keep out the evil beings that plague the area. You must find the whirlpool amid this vast sea. Okay, so let's look out for a whirlpool. And then we can go to the Dragon Palace? Yeah, look at all these islands we can explore. There's plenty of good stuff around here, don't you worry about that. Okay, we're gonna do one last thing to finish off the episode. Um, and this might take a while since it's uh, tedious to say the least. We want to head over here. Uh, there are a lot of little islands we can visit. Like, all six of those have stuff in them that we can uh, do. But we're going to do that next episode, since this last part is going to take a few minutes. So let's head over here to this uh, giant tower island. And yeah, press press and hold X to go faster. I don't hear them meowing all that well. But yeah, uh, this is where you have to go in order to advance the plot. I originally thought it was optional, but then I realized after about five minutes that it's not optional. So, yeah, you kind of have to go over here eventually. So we're going to get this out of the way, and then we'll go to the, uh, finish the episode. So, let's get this junk out of the way. More kitty cats. And you're going to want a lot of fish over here, because there's going to be a lot of kitty cats over here. Like, a lot. See any more hidden treasures? No. I don't think there's anything up here. Okay, yeah, so. Alright, all the fishies up here. And if we head into here, we have. Cat Call Tower. A really, really, really tall tower. And you know what we get to do with this? We get to climb it. It's gonna take a while, so yeah. That's why I'm gonna do it at the end of the episode instead of the beginning. Actually, there's a reason why I'm doing it at the end, since they pull a real dick move on you here, so... Yeah, top of the tower. Hang on one second, guys. Uh, let's see... Alright. Yeah, there's gonna be a... a brush technique here, so we're gonna do this. 
But first we have a required battle against the Poltergeist. Alright, this guy is made up of three smaller demons and there's a fire demon, an ice, there's a fire demon, a wind demon, a lightning demon, and a earth demon. And each one can be dispelled just like a, uh, a mirror of the same type. So right now he's a fire, so let's uh, dispel him with the uh, wind and attack his ass. And yeah, he likes to split up like that, and he's trying to kill me here, so... I wonder if he can blow this away. No? Alright, power slash is chump. There we go. Um, see, his 4 finisher is going to be uh, Gale Storm, I do believe. See, because he's ice, I want to... There we go. Can I, can I do it? No? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. Not too annoying, just... Uh, when they split up and do that wind attack, they can be mildly irritating. But anyways, let's uh, find a few more things around here. More kitty cats. Yeah, all this entire area is nothing but kitty cats. Well, to feed anyways, there's other treasures and kitty cats, but just a whole lot of kitty cats to feed. So go around each of these towers, finding all this, finding all the clovers and stuff we can get. And the kitty cat, who are all spread out just enough, so it's pretty much one feed bag per one kitty cat. Little bastards. Yeah, that's why you want a lot of fish feed bags, is because it's a lot of individual cats, not a whole bunch of groups of cats. But on the plus side, I think after this we'll be finished with uh, feeding the kitty cats. There might be one or two left over, but I think I think we're, if we've got everything else so far, then this might be the last of them. What the heck, dude? You wanna bloom the clover or not? There we go. Any more kitty cats down here? There you are. Let's see, let's see how many kitty cats we have fed right now, anyways. Cats, we have a grand total of 81%. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Mark of Kabagami. I think this is the first time you get a uh, brush technique scroll before you get the, the technique. You may notice the symbol. You may notice the symbols called the Mark of Kamiga Kabagami in your travels. Remnants of Kabagami's power lie within these arcane markings. Those blessed with the divine power may walk up walls bearing the mark. Simply jump with the X button when near such a wall, press the X button again to attach yourself, and you may scale the wall to any height provided the mark is there. Yeah, uh, not to spoil it since, uh, they're telling you right here, this is going to be the technique we're going to get at the top of the tower. And he's actually a really cute brush god, too. He has a really funny intro scene. Alright. So, yeah, we gotta climb this whole tower, so let's start hopping. And yeah, you're gonna be mashing X like a champion. And yeah, uh, when you jump, you can't just jump and expect to land on the wall. You have to jump and um, press X at the... Yeah, you have to press X again when you land, otherwise you won't... Otherwise you won't land, you'll fall off like I did right there. Let's see, we need to go... See, and you want to go. You want to always go to the sides, motherfucker. You always want to go to the sides since there's going to be uh, little platforms with cats on them. Dude, what the fuck, camera? How about you work with me?
What the fuck, guy? This is making me mad right now. Okay, why do you refuse to stay on the catwalk? I guess there's not on this level, but yeah, at other levels there are going to be um, detours you're going to have to take in order to go feed cats. If you don't, if you don't care about getting 100% of you know, the cats fed, then don't bother with it, since they give crappy praise anyways. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Well, considering that's what we got to do anyways. Yeah, I am trying to get to the top. And yeah, here's a kitty cat. All right. Yeah, not a whole lot to talk about here since we're just basically jumping up a tower for the fuck of it. And another black cat that's going to be Calico when you feed it. Watch. Just watch. We got a treasure and a kitty cat. Very nice. Much better than just a kitty cat. And over the tower we continue. It's really irritating that you gotta climb all the way up here, but oh well. What's really irritating is what you gotta do after this. But on the plus side, um... You know all those kitty cat statues we've seen around Nippon before? Uh, this is gonna, this is gonna enable us to actually use those and do a bunch of, uh... stuff with those and get to places, so we can finally not be seeing them and not be able to use them. Come on, we're almost there. We ain't got too much more to climb. And surprisingly, no cats up here. Why? I don't know. You'd, you'd expect there to be a cat at every level, but they try to trip you up right there. I like how every time you jump, there's little uh, dandelions or uh, dandelion puffs or whatever, whatever the fuck those things are called. I think they are called dand. No, they're not called. Are they called dandelions? I don't know. I call them puffy flowers. No, no, don't, don't, don't you dare! Damn dog, dog! I'm trying to scratch my nose, and you're trying to fucking suicide yourself. It's a good thing we don't take fall damage in this game, otherwise falling off this tower would really hurt. Alright, go over here for another treasure. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. And we get a straight beat. I do believe this is a uh, 67.
cat statue. Gee, what a shocker we find that here in Cat Call Tower with the cat god. Let me, let me look at that thing real quick. Oh, it's cute. It's like one of those little uh, good luck kitty cats you see in stat or shops. And there we go. We're finally pretty much up to the top of the tower, and what do you know? We got a mermaid spring, which is actually pretty much useless, by the way. Uh, you're going to find out in just a minute. Yeah, that uh, mermaid fountain is mildly useless, since once you fed all the cats up here, you only got to come, come up here one more time. Now I can hear it meowing, but it doesn't sound like a very good meow. It's a real weird sounding meow. And that was a fast dash. Let me see, how many more kitty cats do we gotta feed anyways? 95%. So I think this last cat's gonna be the last one. there and get it over with, shall we? Oh, do they actually want you to use the power right now? Well, if they do, then what you gotta do is just draw a line from the cat up, but it doesn't seem to be working that way. Okay, how do I get up here then? Am I in the right area? Did I miss something? Okay, this is weird. I should be able to go to the top of the tower right here, but it's telling me no. Camera control? What the fuck, controller? Why can I not go to the top of the tower? I see the tower up there, but we can't seem to go to it for some reason. Okay, this is really, really weird, because you're supposed to be able to go up here. Uh, let me check something here. Um... Oh, duh. I totally forgot. We have to go right here. For some reason, I didn't even notice this, but... Here's the last kitty cat. Yeah, it's probably hungry. I don't know why I had such a derp moment right there trying to figure out how to get up here, but... Oh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that should be the last cat that we have to feed, like, ever. And he appeared to be the one making all the noise up here. And for climbing all the way up Cat Call Tower, we get a constellation. Yay. Yeah, this is kind of a weird constellation, just, just the way it looks. I mean, it's a giant box. How is that a cat, you may ask? Uh, well, we'll find out.
yes, a cat sitting on a wall. But this is one of my favorite uh, Brush God introductions. Bye, Yusin. Have fun. Oh, he's having so much fun. <laughs> Poor Yusin. Poor guy. He's a hacky sack for Ambie and the kitty cat. And he's all tuckered out. Poor guy. Plus I like his little, uh, I like his little, his little voice that he has. I like his cute. Kind of a weird thing to be a god of, but okay. Yeah, he's a cute little brush god. I think he's awesome. Well, I think so. And there we go. We can use uh, Kabagami, the catwalk power now. Whenever you see a cat statue, uh, place it over, look for the purple smoke, and then wherever you draw your line, that's where the mark of Kabagami will appear, and then you can use that to climb. I did it kind of odd oddly right there, but okay. Yeah, we'll go back to those eventually. Let's see what's up at the top of the tower right here, though. And we get a trophy. Fantastic. And it's a big-ass kitty cat statue. With no face. Alright, what do we got up here for all our trouble? We get... A sun fragment. Fantastic. And what do you know? We have just enough for another unit of health. Very nice. Alright, uh, there's one final thing we can get here in Catcall Tower. So, let me show you where it is, and then I'm going to tell you the dastardly and bastardly that we... dastardly and bastardly way that you have to go and get it. Uh, let's see. Alright, you see right here? There's going to be a treasure chest with a stray bead right here. As soon as you do something, and in order to get that, in order to get that uh, stray bead to appear, what you have to do is first you have to exit the tower. So let's uh, let's go all the way to the top of the tower real quick, and then we can go down, I guess. And my catwalk disappeared. So let's go all the way to the top of the tower. Camera, how about you work with me here? No. All right. And now, jump off the tower, go all the way down to the bottom. It's a really long fall down, actually. It's like a really long fall. Luckily, we don't take fall damage. Let me check something here. I want to make sure we actually do have all the cats. I think we do, but I just want to make sure. Yep, 100% kitty cats. Yeah, that one over on the uh, shrine uh, near Rao's place, that one eluded me for a while, and I did not know that little bastard was there, so... But anyways, yeah, we got, uh, now we can check out all these real quick. But anyways, in order to get the last stray bead up there on the top of Cat Call Coward, you have to climb the tower again. You have to go all the way up to, you have to go all the way up there, and here's another stray bead. Uh, you have to go all the way up the tower again, and then that stray bead appears. And you know that mermaid uh, fountain up there? That doesn't work. You cannot just go use a mermaid fountain and get up there that way and have the straight beat appear. No, you actually have to climb your happy little doggy ass up the tower again. So, yeah, if you want that last straight beat up there, that's how you gotta do it. Climb the tower again. Real dick move on the developer's part, but they're bastards, so... I'm gonna end up doing that off-screen naturally, since... I don't want you guys to suffer through me climbing up the tower again. And then after that... Oh, there's only two... I could have swore there was more than two of these down here. 
and after that, then we'll go explore the rest of North Ryoshima Coast with our new friend Orca, and go check out some catcall statues. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night.